Hello curious minds. Ever find yourself staring up at the sky and wondering what secrets our solar system is hiding? Today we're diving into some of the biggest unanswered questions out there. Let's explore the coolest mysteries our neighborhood has to offer. Our sister planet Venus, cloaked in thick swirling clouds, it's a scorching inferno, with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. But it wasn't always this way. Scientists believe that Venus may have once been a temperate paradise, perhaps even harboring oceans of liquid water, much like our own planet billions of years ago. So what happened? How did Venus transform from a potential cradle of life into the fiery hellscape it is today? The leading theory is a phenomenon called a runaway greenhouse effect. Imagine solar radiation like an untamable beast, piercing Venus's atmosphere and heating its surface. Now, under normal circumstances this heat would radiate back into space. But Venus's thick atmosphere, composed primarily of carbon dioxide, acts like a giant blanket, trapping the heat and causing temperatures to skyrocket. Volcanic activity may have played a crucial role in this Venusian tragedy. Imagine volcanoes scattered across Venus's surface, spewing massive amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, further intensifying the heat-trapping effect. Next is our moon, our companion that has captivated humanity for millennia. Its gentle glow illuminates our night sky, its gravitational pull governs our tides, and its presence has inspired countless myths and legends. But have you ever stopped to wonder, where did the moon come from? It's a question that has puzzled astronomers for centuries, and while we've pieced together a compelling theory, the moon's origin remains one of the most intriguing mysteries in our solar system. The prevailing explanation for the moon's formation is the giant impact hypothesis. Picture this. Billions of years ago in the early chaos of our solar system, a young molten Earth collided with a Mars-sized object, Theia, in a cataclysmic event. The impact sent shockwaves through the young solar system, ejecting a massive cloud of debris into space. This debris, a mixture of molten rock and vaporized material from both Earth and the impactor, orbited around Earth, bound by gravity's invisible hand. Over time, the debris coalesced, drawn together by their mutual gravitational attraction, gradually forming the moon we know today. The giant impact hypothesis elegantly explains many of the moon's unique characteristics, such as its relatively large size compared to Earth and its unusual composition, which is remarkably similar to Earth's mantle. Now let's talk about something a little less glamorous than the moon's origins, human waste. Yes, you heard that right. Over the course of several Apollo missions, astronauts left behind bags upon bags of, well, you know, on the lunar surface. It might sound gross, but it's actually a fascinating scientific opportunity. You see, those bags of waste aren't just filled with yesterday's lunch. They also contain millions upon millions of microscopic hitchhikers, bacteria from the human gut. These tiny organisms are incredibly resilient, capable of surviving in some of the most extreme environments on Earth. But could they endure the harsh conditions of the moon? The lunar surface is a brutal place. It's bombarded by radiation, has no atmosphere to speak of, and experiences extreme temperature swings between scorching days and frigid nights. If these hardy microbes did manage to survive, it would have profound implications for our understanding of life's limits. Our journey takes us back to our own planet, Earth. We humans tend to think of ourselves as the most advanced civilization to ever grace this planet. But what if we weren't the first? What if, long before humans walked the Earth, another intelligent species built cities, developed technologies and left their mark on the planet? It's a tantalizing idea, one that has captivated historians, archaeologists and conspiracy theorists for decades. Proponents point to ancient structures like the pyramids of Giza, Stonehenge, and the Nazca Lines as evidence of a lost civilization with technological prowess far exceeding our own. These structures are undoubtedly impressive feats of engineering, but are they evidence of a pre-human civilization? The scientific community remains skeptical. Most archaeologists and historians agree that these structures, while impressive, can be explained by the ingenuity and capabilities of ancient human civilizations. While the evidence for a pre-human civilization remains thin, the possibility, however improbable, continues to intrigue. Perhaps, hidden beneath the sands of time, lie the remnants of a civilization lost to history, waiting to be rediscovered. Mars, the red planet, has captivated our imaginations for centuries. Its rusty hue, visible even to the naked eye, hints at a world not unlike our own, a rocky terrestrial planet with the potential for liquid water, and perhaps, life itself. The question of whether life ever existed on Mars is one of the most profound questions in science and it's a question that drives our ongoing exploration of the Red Planet. The evidence for past water on Mars is compelling. Images from orbiting spacecraft and data from rovers on the surface have revealed ancient riverbeds, lake basins, and even evidence of past tsunamis, suggesting that Mars was once a much warmer and wetter place than the cold, arid desert it is today. But where there's water, there's the potential for life. 
On Earth, wherever we find liquid water we find life, even in the most extreme environments. So it stands to reason that if Mars once had abundant liquid water, it might have also harbored life. Scientists are searching for signs of past life on Mars in the form of fossilized microorganisms, chemical signatures of biological processes, or even evidence of microbial life existing beneath the Martian surface today. The search for life on Mars is a challenging one, but it's a search that could revolutionize our understanding of life in the universe. Now let's talk about what happened to transform Mars, this once promising world, into the desolate landscape we see today. The answer may lie in a force that's invisible to our eyes but crucial to a planet's habitability, its magnetic field. Earth's magnetic field acts as a protective shield, deflecting harmful radiation from the sun, and preventing our atmosphere from being stripped away by the solar wind, a constant stream of charged particles emanating from our star. Mars however, wasn't so lucky. Billions of years ago, Mars, like Earth, possessed a global magnetic field generated by its molten core. But unlike Earth, Mars's core cooled and solidified, causing its magnetic field to weaken and eventually disappear. Without this protective shield, Mars was left vulnerable to the relentless onslaught of the solar wind. The solar wind, no longer held at bay, began to strip away Mars's atmosphere, molecule by molecule. Over millions of years, Mars's once thick atmosphere, which likely contained greenhouse gases that kept the planet warm and allowed for liquid water on its surface, was whittled away, leaving behind the thin tenuous atmosphere we see today. Our solar system, once thought to end at the orbit of Pluto, might hold a hidden world, a ninth planet lurking in the distant reaches beyond Neptune. This hypothetical planet, dubbed Planet 9, has never been directly observed, but its presence is hinted at by the strange gravitational dance of objects in the outer solar system. In the outer solar system, beyond the orbit of Neptune, astronomers have observed a peculiar clustering of icy objects, their orbits aligned in a way that suggests the gravitational influence of an unseen world. Planet 9, if it exists, is thought to be a super-Earth, several times more massive than our own planet, lurking in the frigid darkness far beyond Pluto's orbit. Its immense gravity would tug on these distant objects shepherding them into their peculiar aligned orbits. The search for Planet 9 is a challenging one. It's a faint, distant object, likely cloaked in darkness making it incredibly difficult to detect with even our most powerful telescopes. The discovery of Planet 9 would be a monumental event in astronomy. Uranus the ice giant is a world of enigmatic extremes, rotating on its side with its axis tilted at 98 degrees. How did Uranus end up tipped over like a cosmic top? The prevailing theory is a cataclysmic collision early in its history. A rogue planet, perhaps twice the size of Earth, slammed into it. The impact tilted its axis to its extreme angle. This massive collision likely not only tilted Uranus's axis but could have also contributed to its peculiar rotation and the unique magnetic field it has today. Unlike other planets, Uranus's magnetic field is also tilted and offset from its center, which might be another consequence of this violent impact. Our solar system doesn't end at Neptune. Far beyond lies the Oort Cloud, a cosmic graveyard of icy remnants. Imagine a vast spherical shell extending trillions of miles from the Sun. This is the Oort Cloud, home to trillions of icy objects from the solar system's formation. But here's the real mystery. Where did the Oort Cloud come from? One popular hypothesis is that the Oort Cloud was once a dense disk of icy bodies. But as the solar system evolved, gravitational interactions scattered these objects into distant orbits. Over time they formed a massive spherical cloud of comets and icy bodies. Despite its theoretical existence we've never directly observed the Oort Cloud, and that makes it one of the great mysteries of our solar system. Water covers over 70% of our planet's surface, shaping continents and regulating climate. But where did all this water come from? Early Earth was a hot, molten inferno, bombarded by asteroids and comets. One theory points to asteroids as the primary source of Earth's water. These impacts could have deposited enough water to fill our oceans. Another theory suggests comets played a significant role in delivering water to Earth. The real question is, which one is responsible for the bulk of our oceans? Black holes warp space and time devouring everything that ventures too close. But what if our solar system harbors these enigmatic objects? We're talking about primordial black holes, much smaller and more elusive than supermassive ones. Formed just after the Big Bang, these black holes could be as small as a planet or a moon. Despite their small size, primordial black holes could have a huge impact on our solar system. Their intense gravitational pull might not just affect the orbits of planets, but could also explain some of the strange motions of objects in the outer solar system. For example, some unexplained anomalies in the orbits of distant objects, like those in the Kuiper Belt or the Oort Cloud, some scientists speculate that many black holes could potentially be hiding right under our noses, and we may have already passed by one without realizing it. 
Astronomers search for their subtle gravitational effects on planetary orbits. And there you have it, some of the biggest mysteries still lurking in our solar system. From invisible planets to ancient atmospheres there's so much we still don't know. So, what do you think? Could we be close to solving any of these cosmic puzzles, or will these mysteries keep us guessing for centuries? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this dive into the unknown make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next adventure. Thank you for watching. Until next time keep looking up.